Welcome back to some more MTGO Band Snow Control Modern. This time around, uh, yeah, with Yorion again and a little black splash for Fatal Push DK Trophy and one more Kaya's Guile here. And let's see how this will go because I still promised that I will, yeah, try this 80 card version out for science. So, go, go, go. You heard what she said. Alright, this time we are gonna live again. Because I probably won't have time to make a voiceover of the replay or something. So, here we go. Have to skip ahead if the opponent is playing too slowly or there are long searches for more opponents. So, we shall see. 80 against 60. So I hope that Aprop DK helps a little bit against uh, Planeswalkers, dealing with Ren and Six and Time Revelers, and yeah, maybe also like Ether Vials or Ozolids or whatever is running around. Oh, well, besides this Fatal Push, the hand looks fine, though we are on the draw. As of late, I'm always on the draw, but well, at least the mana. Mana checks out if we find an astrolabe or something, that would be good. And then, after six leaks now, all in all, I play against Burn for the first time again. And are directly on the draw with a dead removal spell in hand. That is fitting. That is very fitting. Now watch them drop an Eidolon and we are just dead in the water. <sighs> Sometimes, I'm not the luckiest. Yes, more Swift Spears. You got it. Come on, give me an Astrolabe. Or at least one Fatal Push. It's a Rift Bolt. That I can't even stop with Teferi because we are on the draw. Yep, exactly. Oh my goodness, and we don't draw anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Directly punished for playing Yorion with the Black Splash. And not finding a single Astrolabe or Abundant Growth. And being on the draw. Infinite damage here. Don't think the Swift Spear does nothing. Now they attack us for four. Third one even. Now Fatal Push looks bad anyways. Gosh, these are hard starts to beat. Yeah, can just concede here. There's no way coming back from this. Well, dumpstered by Burn. We have at least one more life gain card here. And some other gusts, which are fine. Um, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, burn, burn, burn. Probably bring out all the clunk. So bring out those. Oh, then actually the supreme verdicts are far too slow. But I think that's it even. Don't have more to bring in here. I just hope that the mana is better now. Time Reveler makes it at least so that they can't uh, suspend Rift Bolts easily and that they can't overload us during our end step, so it's still kind of fine. Let's try it again. Yorion, I think, has no real text in this matchup. Here we can go at least with our Trium into Ice Fang or Path to Exile or something like that. And we have an Uro already as a plan. But we need more removal. Goblin Guide. Don't think I want to pass here yet. Don't want to ramp him ahead. I fetch this out now so it's out of the way. 
please show me removal. Shows us an astrolabe there. I guess since Ice Fang does not have Death Touch yet, we can try and hold up Path to Exile here. Playing out the astrolabe first. Okay. Going with a Path to Exile into Uru, probably. Do you show? Rock Major Charm. Yeah. Not the greatest here. They smash the Astrolabe, all right. Oh, that is okay. One more card in the bin for the Uro. Gain three life back. And yeah, go from here with a heavy counter, a counter heavy hand, but two more cards in the bin and we are there. So Archmeter Charm can still steal the one drop and next turn we might also have Mana Leak Ice Fang. Or Lava Spike as Mana would love a Force of Negation now. Let me go to at least 11 here. Because I fetch, of course. This is now an idle on two. Yes, it is. <gasps> so Ace Fang doesn't have Death Touch. Four, five, Eight, one more. I can't do all in one turn. And I take my two here, I guess. Go to six. Okay, they tap out, so they won't have skull crack now. And let's go with the. I can't go with the Uru because we are lacking another green source here. So I have to hold up cryptic command. Damn it. Attached wrong. The beginning, all right. Blue something counter bounce this. Trigger prowess, so. Now we have more than enough cards in the graveyard, but they have an extra draw. They have Eidolon and two unknowns then. Here now, I think I'm fine in passing my own Swift Spear. Getting that extra mana. Blue, green, green. Whatever we do, we only get the white mana open here. Sure.
Another rift bolt, okay. So if they draw a Boros Charm, they can still get us here. Unless I draw probably a blue source. Go to four, go to seven, go to four again. So if they have the Boris Charm here, we are dead because they killed our Astrolabe prior and delaying this Oro for too much. Seems like they have it. Yes, we got one of course two burn spells will also be able to deal with us. Okay, come on, draw another land. Please flood out. That looks good. Oh, they are slow rolling something. Who knows? So if they would have a creature, they would have used it already. Yeah, so it was another land. And here is the Boros Charm now. Now I can only hope that they don't rip yet again. Do we have to return that now? Yeah, because whatever we draw, we can't play it. So let's bounce that back to hand, open the way, at least for lethal. And hope they don't draw a bolt or lava spike here. Lucky, okay. Now we are on the draw again. There's nothing I can really change. I can only hope to have cheap removal in hand alongside counter spells. One birdie. Ooh, uh. Yet again, an ugly hand. Wow. My deck doesn't like me. Doesn't like me at all. I think the sand is doing. <sighs> at least we have some mana here. Chase is too slow. I don't think we have time for this abundant growth. We probably have to path mana leak and then just hope to draw some lands. Of course, they start with the one drop again. No, but it's only Rift Bolt, so... Okay, we have green source now. This is awkward. Like, I don't want to shock yet. Holding up a path for an Eidolon or something, but this Trium is kind of awkward for the Teferi right now. Um... So I probably want to hold up Path and Mana Leak next turn. So let's save the life here. Take three, he probably drops an idol on here. Of course drawing one of our black spells now would punish us. But at least we can path to exile that still. Let's 
So if we play out the Trium and we draw a Kaya Skyle, that would be good next turn. If I just plan with what we have, I should play this out to also get the blue source for Time Reveler. So I think we just hold Path to Exile and hope that the Mana Leak will be good following one of the following turns. Hopefully they have smashed two Smithereens in hand or something, and not the second Eidolon. I put out the timely reinforcements because I never played against Burn in the last 25 matches, so... Alright, one card in hand. They have still a cycle here. Don't have time for Field of Ruin on that right now, I think. Because then they can play through the Mana Leak. But on the other hand, I could still dump an Astrolabe in there, and I don't think I'd die from 9. And denying them the redraw here could also potentially be good. So... Might be a greedy turn, but... Let's do this, also improving our mana here a little bit. Opening us, of course, up for Smash to Smithereens here. On the life gain card, that would be great. Yeah, just a land drop. Damn, not doing anything here. Dropping a Smash now, yeah, of course. But then they are at least kind of tapped out. Not drawing anything but lands. <sighs> then you can't win, of course. I mean, it was a mulligan to five, but still. Now they have also enough mana to play around mana leak on average, unless they draw a uh, rift bolt and hard cast it. So, mana leak not looking hot right now. Akmeta Shram is fine though. I don't know if I want the path to exile in this case. But I also don't want to take more damage. We play out just a fetch land for now. Keep the sanctuary in case I need another hard counter. But now they only draw one spell a turn, and we have Time Reveler to prevent them from overloading us and to use Skullcrack and stuff like that, so. If we find an Uru, that would be fine. I don't want to go to 2 to die to Goblin Guide or anything like that. Okay, at least this way we can double fetch and use the Archmage's Charms to stop 2 spells. If they double spell in 1 turn, we have still Mana Leak to go alongside it. They just do nothing. I think then I will use the turn. Cycle it. Oh, we can cash in the mana leak. So we go to two. We have three islands, so Mystic Sanctuary can put the Archmage Charm back on top. Yes. Then we mana leak here. And he is in top deck mode again, and soon the fairy draws an extra card. Up tick. Should turn back for now. Only draws one spell, we have one counter spell in hand. Doesn't play it, so we try and find life gain. Do not find the life gain. Put the Archmage Shram on top. Now we can use two of them in one turn. Draw it.
Mounts it. We're not getting anywhere, <laughs> just drawing this mana leak again. Come on. Two cards in hand again. Here comes the Goblin Guide. That is fine, we can steal that after the trigger. I have a blocker here. We can plan accordingly. Fatal push, yeah, so not the greatest. Gain control here. Or ours. Alright. Come on, life gain. No. Not more of those. Damn it, we don't get anywhere. This is so frustrating. Just need a single Uro to put this game away, but I don't find it. <sighs> Come on. Now he can gather three burn spells and just get us. <sighs> yeah, that is really sad. After 11 turns, well, at least he has a land drop too now. That's not a redraw. Yeah, give me more lands. Do me dirty. Next turn we can draw some more. Don't know if he has even targets for this Mesa. Come on, where is the damn Uru? Draw it, please. There it is. Finally. Hallelujah. Now we go back to 5 and then go back to 8. Three, four. We can still have Archmage's Charm up, but not everything. He needs a lot of counter spells, a uh, lot of burn spells, at least three to burn us out, I think. So I'm willing to risk it here. One, two, three, four, five. That's where we can also put another land into play and maybe still counter something if we have to. Alright, so we hold up the defense for one more turn. We are at 8 now. This looks good with a full hand. Guess I forgot about our bird. Yes, go to 5. Go to two. All right. Such a basic. Slowly and carefully. Counter target spell. Don't have a redraw. We untap with everything and have an Uru. And the Snapcaster Mage and Cryptic Tech. Lightning Bolts. That is not enough anymore. And yeah, well. Squeeze it out, even without all, with all of our land drops. Maybe I miss the Yorion in one turn, but... Don't know if we had juice to tap out for five mana here. As I wanted to hold up at least the Archmage Charm. But okay. Sometimes lucky, I guess. A 
is always close, but without Luros, at least we have a chance again. Right, but the Teferi was good, so they couldn't overload our mana that easily. Okay, the birds. Yeah, the sand. I don't know. At least we are on the play this time, but the Ice Fang is not getting Death Touch anytime soon. Guess at least the mana is okay. Snapcaster doesn't have a target, the fairy doesn't do anything yet. Yeah, let's try it. At least the mana is fine even without an astrolabe. Yep, green red something. So I hope they don't Blood Moon us here yet. So we can fetch out another basic at least. Pyromancer. Two lands, okay. Uh, I think we grab a basic here. Just in case. Time Reveler can bounce that or bounce the Utopia Sprawl, slowing him down maybe a turn. That seems fine. If he has a bolt on this, then it's still bad. But if he goes with the land into Chandra, that is also strong. So yeah, if the fairy dies, it dies. Let's slow him down a turn. Let's still jump here. It's another card in the bin, and then maybe we can drop Uro soon because he doesn't have Graveyard Hate yet. Unless he plays an ooze now. That would be annoying. Nope. Just plays Utopia Spall again, but we are flooding out again. <clears throat> Infinite mana next turn for him. Probably Bloodbraid Elf or something. So, okay, Path to Exile. That's not bad. Well, let's fetch out a uh, basic forest so that Magus of the Moon. Doesn't hit us that hard, but he needs a Blood Moon effect or something to prevent the Uro or an Ooze. So. Next turn we would have an Uro. Which is also fine. Fuck, of course he has a Ooze. <sighs> Always outplayed today. Always getting outplayed. What is it now? Cloth is, yeah, of course. Okay. Well, I guess we pass Snap Path here now. Then hope that Fairy will be good. Or we can even uh, Mystic Sanctuary and draw it with a Teferi, and then he needs another Bolt or something. Yeah, I think we risk it. Shock this in. 
the path back on top while well, the ooze is occupied. Yes. Drop the hero. Draw into path. Now we have snap as an emergency blocker. Still path to exile up to protect the Teferi from lethal. So he needs like a lightning bolt or something. If we can untap here with cryptic, that would be good. Right, a fairy is at three, you can bolt him now. Just that and other clothes, sure. Right. And another seasoned pyro. Sim another two cards, which of one is a land at least. All right. Okay, draw card. Snap past this cloth is away, I think. Or we get rid of one of the pyros. So you need seven devotion for this, I think. Uh, seven. So if we path one away, this is not a creature. He has two, three, four, five, six. Of course, it can be enabled, but we have DK to check it. And I think him making more tokens would be more annoying right now. So let's actually get rid of one of the pyros here. Uh, we tap this and this, then we can play the Field of Ruin, I think. One, two, three, four, two. We need these. We need this and this for the, D uh, for the DK, yeah, and we need this, 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 and this for the Cryptic. Yeah, I think that's fine. Okay, saving some life points here. Keeping Snap back as a blocker, untap this and this. All right, two cards against two cards, kind of, because the lands aren't doing anything. Pillage. All right. Yeah, might as well kill it now. Right, this now can make some tokens end of turn, but the fairy is still at five. Then let's grab another swamp. Just drawing more lands here is not what I want. Then we draw an Uro. With seven mana, we can play it out in one turn, and we have seven, I think. And we have triple green. And we have... Do we have enough blue, though? I need this, this, and this. I need these three, or these three, to play out the Uro. Then we have blue. Yeah, we are lacking one more blue mana here, unfortunately, so I can't play out the Uro. Ugh. Guess we could bounce the clothes and uh, then we are still missing out on the mana. If I risk it now, I kind of lose this Uro and I don't want to do that, so let's ship the burnt turn back for now. And he makes some tokens. Which attack to fairy down, I think. Just in case, float the manor, I guess. Yep. Right, 
I need another blue source, then we can do it in one turn and gain a lot of life back. He still has two cards in hand. And it's a Blood Braid Elf 2. And it's a Bone Crusher Giant. That can kill the Teferi. Yes. to waste his turn here. I should have drawn towards the blue source. Okay. Oh, he needs a lightning bolt though to kill the Teferi. Goes to one, no lightning bolt, okay. Draw Jace, that is also fine. Okay, and then we have the Astrolabe. I think now we have the mana. To do it in one turn. Is this and this. We shock this in and have green, green, blue, blue. Then we have a 6-6 six, six here in play. Green, green, blue, blue. One, two, three, four, five. All right, it's back at 15. Sure, just untapping. Some lands. Yes, Cryptic is gone. So two cards in hand. A Bone Crusher, kind of exiled right now. Another Blood Braid Elf as his last card. Please not into Season Pyro, no into Arbor Elf. Fair. This becomes not yet a creature, all right. But with this, it becomes a creature. Then he can kill the Teferi. Yeah, the Teferi will die now. Take the 4 damage and trade with the Elf. Now we find a Supreme Verdict here. Very well. Gain us some life first. Nope. And we have five again. Supreme verdicts. Uh green. Green, blue, blue. I cast you. The board is clean here, very clean. Never have time for any counter spells, but we are playing six against zero. Still have a companion here hanging around. We are going down to 13. All right, gives up. I don't think the Kaya's Girl is good on average. I like the other gusts against Choke and friends. And that's about it. So what are we going to board out against red-green? Probably the veto. Probably one mana leak. And going with this. Kaya's God is fine on the play, maybe, as a good removal spell. But... I guess it can also tech um, the Seasoned Pyros and exiling the graveyard at least. So maybe it's better than some of these because Jace kind of dies to everything here against Bloodbraid, Elf, Gold, and what have you. And 
At least Guile can gain some life and exile the graveyard with Season Pyros in it. So removal spell can maybe, if the board is clear, get a dragon or something. I don't know. We shall see. Big do nothing hand. Yet again, we are on the draw. Yeah, let's try it. They always have to mull for this turn one Arbor Elf or Topia Sprawl. Find a Trium here. Hopefully they don't Stone Rain us. Find an other gust at least against the choke, and with abundant growth we can build the mana base in a way that choke won't instant kill us. So that feels always good. All right, four mana here, a blood bright elf. This is so strong. Chandra, okay, we can deal with the Chandra right now. I can't cast that, and I mean this is nearly everything he has, so. Okay, that's a lot of mana. What this cloth is. Okay. Jews, also blood braid elf. Man, he's dumpstering us here. And a pillage. Yeah. Now I'm getting dumpstered here on all cylinders, and I think I can't do anything against that anymore. Oh, the hand was not good enough, should have mulligans. That's my mistake. <laughs> Can't they play Obosh again? Blood Pretty Elf is so more annoying. So if we want to Archmage Shaman 3, I have to play out the Sanctuary first. Okay, keeps the seven after a long think. Maybe no one drop. Who has the one drop? But it's a relic. Okay, then we have gained one turn here. Because that is a slow opener. Let's build toward Ice Fang. Probably has a scavenging ooze then in hand or something. Sure. Or a lot of blood bright elves. Find the force too, okay. Force Archmage Charm up. If they play nothing, we play Ice Fang. Can also part to exile.
Yes, bolt me. This indicates to me that they have a lot of season pyros in hand. Nothing again. Okay. Can't boil us yet, so here we go. An astrolabe too. And a supreme verdict. Right, an assassin's trophy. It's good yet, but maybe down the line. Sure. You got it. Topia sprawl. Can Assassin's Trophy that if we want to. Goes for Pillage. So. Exile it. August to oh well, then we just shut the turn back. <clears throat> August and Archmage Shram up. I kind of don't go for their lands, but need more interaction, I think. The command is fine, Ice Fang is fine. More Field of Ruins. So we can still go for Ice Fang and Ethergust. Hope that they don't have more Bloodbraid Elves, but yeah, a slow start means that they usually have a heavy top end. Have cryptic up at least. Of course, also. Right here. Keep up with the that great elf. Four cards in hand. Five mana. Or four Chandra. So here I think it's a fine turn to just counter draw. Getting our card back. We have an Assassin's Trophy against maybe a Dragon or something. Another gust open, so we can put now Yorion into our hand. Go from there. Okay, another cryptic is also very good. Two, three, four. And in this case, I don't want to do anything yet. Just shift the turn back. So, yeah, hope to grind them out here. Sure. I think wasting the trophy on the land in hindsight uh, was correct not to do it. Keeping this up for another planeswalker or something seems good. 
they are thinking. So it doesn't seem like they have another Bloodbraid Elf, but I bet they have a Seasoned Pyro in hand. Can let a Scavenging Ooze resolve. Bouncing that land with Cryptic doesn't seem that great right now. If they don't do anything, we can cash in a Field of Ruin. If they boil us, we still have Elagast. <clears throat> Yeah, but the Lord Yorion is now looming over them, so... Okay, they have another Bloodbraid Elf, after all, and it's a Veil of Summer. Sure. You can have that, my friend. Now we can't target it with Assassin's Trophy. So... I guess they can't use anything... this. Giving us a white mana here. It's only hexproof from blue and black. It can maybe bolt us, but so be it. Maybe the thought about cracking the relic. Those. Right, let's deal with you. Go away. Then it's three cards against two cards. Or okay, if they crack the relic, it's still equal. Kaya Skyle, okay. Just turn back again. Just chip it back. Does not crack it yet. Yes, you have my field of ruin. Or mana again, yet another Bloodbraid Elf. This is the third one. And a cloth is. So here I think we counter draw. Trying to find more action now. Sure, take a hit of three. I think this Kaya Skyle summer value for next turn. Now let's see if they crack their relic here. I think so. Yes, all right. So we can still make them sack. Cold up Assassin's Trophy and Aethergust. We just put the big bird into hand now. I think given what we have... Put it to hand now. Prepare the bird. Holding up Aethergust here to prevent a choke or something. You can have the relic. Yes, we go to seven. Which bolts are left? Two. Okay, so I think seven is fine. Don't bust to five. All right. There is the choke. Um, I can actually Assassin's Trophy that. Sure, choke us. Black, green, trophy it. Five, then we have still three mana open. Do we need three mana? Do I have to draw three cards? I don't think so. I think that holding up Kaya Skyle and the potential of gaining four is stronger here because they could still draw the fourth Blood Raid Elf into Lightning Bolt or something. But I think drawing two is more than enough here.
This checks the blood braid elf too. We still have other gust up. And can maybe draw into path to exile or something. Yes. So they can have up to three cards here. Three, six, seven mana. So a big mild drifter here. Drawing infinite lands doesn't help though. Did not crack the relic end of turn. Our elf is fine. Okay, then we hope that he doesn't rip something good with the relic, but he's lagging mana now. Probably puts that back on top. Yep. The Bone Crusher into play. <laughs> Drawing two lands there surely hurts. Now the cryptics are gone. Give me an Uru or something. Nope, just more lands. Just more freaking lands. There's the Archmage Shram. Okay. So we can still cycle that at least. Shoot back the turn. Hold back the blocker. Gaining for life here will be important. Okay, he offers everything. I think gaining four. Let him ha let him have the two tokens. I think it's fine. Probably six here. If we go to nine, then we trade here. Go back to six. Yes. Hope he doesn't draw into choke or something. Does not crack it here. Okay. <laughs> Still drawing infinite lands. God. Even with Yorion as top end, we flood out so heavily. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After exile, okay. Exile this. Yep, and he draws, of course, just another Pyromancer. Straight from the top while we are sitting here and waiting for anything. Tesla's Goose now. Sure, and more Pyromancer tokens soon. This ooze will outgrow the Yorion. If I 
don't find an answer. Where are my ice fangs? Just abundant growth. Into land. There is the ice fang. Okay. Well then, ship the turn back one more time. What do you draw? I think he's holding on to this relic far too long, but maybe that helps us. I still have planeswalker somewhere. Cloth this. Yeah, this puts an end to us also very quickly. Mana leak, yes. Well, great. We are dead in three turns to the cloth. This uh, there is one more cryptic in the deck. The fairy jays all still there. The wrong snapcaster mage, yes. Still can't attack. Well, seems like we are flooding out here pretty hard. Yes, you create two tokens. We go to four. Go to three, bolt us. Yes, have my mana leak. Pretty frustrating losing here. Pretty frustrating losing here. With all these damn lands in play. Lurus against Yorion. Here we go. Smells like hardened scales, which I kind of don't like as a match. It's just a junt variant of some kind. Let's just cycle these. Infinite land drops, Archmage Charms, and Uru. Maybe this deck just plays too much land drops with 32. I don't know. It's the same ratio as 24 lands, so maybe I'm just unlucky. I don't know. And in the Ben Snow deck, I also played 24 and did not out did not flood out that hard. Tom Goyf, Death Shadow, Kiln Fiends, yep. No removal here. There's nothing I have. 
just land drops. Go. How dead are we? Yes, Sot sees us. Enjoy. <laughs> the weight between an Archmage Charm and Uro. What are you gonna pick? I bet it's an Archmage Charm. <laughs> yes, more baubles. Do you play a spell? Do you attack? Take it. Probably cycle this Archmage Charm and hope to draw into some action. Maybe it's a fairy or something to bounce this. What now? What is Mr. Shark thinking? Playing a Tarmogoyf. Well, then we have to counter this to not instantly die and hope that we draw something. Like a removal spell, for example. Yes. Nope, we just draw more lands. Yes! Give me the lands. Come on, Path to Exile one time. Oh, a Mana Leak. Hey, hey! Would you look at that? <sighs> Might as well mana leak that, preventing him to lose more life. Then probably put an Archmage Charm back on top in case he drops a Death Shadow or something. If not, we can just play Uro. Yes, also a Cling to Dust. Well, in this case, I guess we counter the Cling to Dust. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yes. Play Uru hold up. The Archmage Charm is maybe good. I have nothing. You go to eight, can drop a Death Shadow maybe, but we can steal it. Maybe he can kill us here? I don't know. Like mutagenic growth plus mutagenic growth. Which shortly kill us, but he has only three more cards, so I don't know. Unearth for the Goyf, take 10, go to 5, and go back to 8. Pretty good turn for him. Another mana leak, yes. Go to six, ship the turn back, hope not to die. Three cards, three mana over there. Could be everything. And nothing. C 
seal of fire. Yeah, well, that grows the goif, I guess. Could try and mana leak here. But the goif is still smaller, so... Two more cards in hand. And we have to block here. We are at a virtual three then. Maybe Mana Leak rescues us if he has this member here. So the Kiln Fiends, yeah, with that we are dead anyways. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feels bad to not drawing a single removal spell again. Too disappointing. Maybe the cling to dusts are too annoying. Yeah, looks good until they double discard us. Discard number one. Yep. Go. Cool. <laughs> Guess they can also have Whale of Summer or something, but at least we can end of turn Cryptic Bounce our Astrolabe if nothing happens. Yeah, probably picks the cryptic. I don't want to play into Velo Summer here. Hey, and third discard spell. That's what I was talking about. 
Yeah, pick everything. Here comes the cling to dust. Feels again like they are outplaying us on every turn. Now watch them have another discard after three thought seizures. Abundant hmm. growth. Assassin's Trophy, okay. How much basics do you have? More basics, all right. Also go for the green source. Right, drop the bird. Draw two to find an answer against Lurus. Not a direct answer. And they have another green source, who would have thought. Then I could have also gotten the black source, so... Yes, we have to fly over them and try to kill them. At least we keep them off Tamogoyfs. The 
slow Yori on death over two turns. And could also let them go to five and then attack for five with the Ice Fang. Don't have to ambush the Lurus inside combat and play into his unearth or something, so let's gamble and take this hit. Yeah, there's the unearth. Put five power into play. Hope he doesn't have a lightning bolt or something. This time with the abrupt DK two. That the fairy makes sure that he doesn't have anything here. And he has the lightning bolt, so good we played out the Teferi. Then it's over. All right, so after a triple discard, we still managed to squeeze one out. This time the bird was okay. Cling to dust really makes Uro awkward. There's nothing else I want here. At least Uro can cycle, I guess. So let's try it again. <coughs> <laughs> All right, seven against seven. Coming with the discard again. <clears throat> Spell bomb here. Okay, he's missing length drops. I see a chance. I see a chance here. Okay, yeah, if we can drop the Jace before he has anything, we will probably win. And, well, he has another Sotsis. So, bye-bye, Jace. Hmm? Hmm. Picks the Uru, though. That is interesting. Makes me wonder what he still has in hand. He doesn't care about the Jace here. He's 
next tile and we can protect it from the discard. And then we can untap with it. There. There's a lot of land drops here. There is the second one. We can at least prevent the Tamogoyf here. <coughs> Still don't want to play into Whale of Summer though. I know they have it. I smell it from miles away. I know this card is always looming over us. I don't know if they run counter spells though. Could be the case. I still think I drop the Jays. Draw two here. Tap with seven in hand. Another Uro. Okay, then he cracks it. Can't think of a counter. I didn't see any blue mana or stubborn denial or anything. So we could have a lightning bolt or something. But I still think I will brainstorm here. Oh, I concedes. All right, doesn't have anything. Okay, third match. Well, I guess if we don't flood out in match two, game two, fifteen land drops or something, maybe we would have a three zero here. So, who knows? Maybe I just need something good against Bloodbraid Elf. The card always gets me. But he also top decked the second season pyro in a row, so that was pretty good of him. Well, three mana to fairy and Jays against the world. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully it's not Tron. <laughs> hmm. Smells like red green again. Yes, it's red green again. It's like the newest flavor. Right, don't have anything again in turn two. Kill me. Kill me. Play the Blood Moon. Brennan six. Is also annoying. More damn Arbor Elves. All right. If I uptick, I can still die against Bloodbraid Elf plus Arbor Elf, so he has to decide what he wants to do here. Probably can ping it down, play a land, and play Bloodbraid Elf anyways. Yep, exactly. Kills the snap though. 
the text here. Fine. Close this. Yep. Tim have the blood braid off. <laughs> Please just play a Chandra. Or something we can supreme verdict at least. Nope, it's a damn dragon. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Tumas are really dirty here. <laughs> Still has six Godforsaken cards in hand. Just drops more dragons. You have to love it. Swings everything at us. So we are dead because I can only path to exile one of those nerds. Then we still take nine. So yeah, we are dead here. <sighs> this matchup is so awful. As a ghost, Kaya Skyle. Two out, one force out. Actually, cut a veto. Oh, maybe it's time to put some Baneslayer Angels back into the sideboard just to deal with green red. Like.
<laughs> Looks not good again. So I need a white source still, but I also want a green source, and I don't know if I want the temple garden here, because oh, with that hand, it might be Arkward with the Archmage Charm. Draw an Assassin's Trophy. All right, hold up the trophy in case he puts the Topia Sprawl on his land or something. Okay, only two land drops. Ren and six. Uh, I don't think I want to trophy that if he doesn't have another land drop. Sure. Let's see what we draw. Draw white source, anyways. Okay. Then I hope he misses one more turn. Go for a breeding pool now. I'm second, gain four. The token won't matter, I think. <clears throat> But joy. Okay. <clears throat> We're back on the draw. I don't want to draw these forces too much. Having one is fine well with you, but top decking all these mana leaks and forces will be rough. We have seen that the last time we played against this deck. It can come down to a top deck war and then every dead draw hurts a lot. At least this time we have a fatal push against an uh, Arbor Elf. I watch him lead with Utopia Sprawl, I guess. Yeah, great, we can push it! Kick the damn Elf. Kick it down. Boom. Gotcha. And there he had a Utopia Sprawl for an insane turn anyways. With a Renin 6 and another land drop. Three times this Renin 6 on turn 2. Makes you really wonder how many they are playing nowadays of those. Yeah, or I have nothing. Drop the Bloodbraid Elf into Clothis. And we are dead. Or pillage me. Taking my green source away here. Now we are fucked by our mana base. And the Renin 6 is ticking up mercilessly. Giving him all the mana he needs for his bombs. Come on, drop the elf. Don't 
to choke. No, at least only Utopia Sprawl. So even with a fatal push on one, we are getting dumpstered here. He still has more cards in hand. Hey, we at least draw something here. So we may have to decay that next turn. Play the choke. Kill me. Can concede. Yes, you have your land drops. Just attacks for four. Alright. So boil or something. Because I should have played the abundant growth on the island so that I can do both of these things in one turn and maybe hit another land drop. Yep, to nine. Okay, doesn't play anything. Yep, just draw him a cryptics. Maybe he's flooded out. Oops. Have more land drops. Now let me untap with an Uru, please. One turn too slow. More land drops. Yeah, maybe he's flooded. Is flooded and we can use this window. The DK was good here. I should have played it in one turn with the abundant growth. Okay, we are at nine. Okay, now I feel pretty confident. Just in case he has well of summer. Sit back on top, alright. Mm. Let's take the blocker away, I guess. Could use the Assassin's Trophy, of course, to get rid of the Chandra, but now if he searches the basic, there he shuffles, alright. Well. That was more than lucky. I mean, this deck usually plays around 20 land drops and he has drawn also like 11, so I guess this was kind of the revenge luck from the second match, all in all. It all comes back at one point, but an average draw would have buried us there, I think, even through the fatal push on one. I'm glad I had abrupt DK against planeswalkers in the deck, though. So,
Here we are at least on the play. So let's start with the Triumph Land again. Supreme Verdict. <laughs> Supreme Verdict's role right now is to be pitched to Force of Negation if we play against the Celestial Colonnade deck. Alright. So let's see how good Abrupt DK is against a uh, Time Reveler or something. Wow. Drawing all those damn Mystic Sanctuaries already. That hurts. Can't fetch them out anymore. Really unlucky that those are the land drops in our hand here. Oh, draw one of the Teferis. I guess end of turn we try to cycle Arc Major Charm, put it back on top. Oh, that was a miracle. There was a uh, stop in his draw step. Draw some land. Let me draw. Yes, that looks good. Yes, you can play a Snapcaster Mage end of turn. Maybe we have to mana leak here. A lot of possibilities. We draw the charm. Okay, we can have drops. He is not missing. We are though. Let's try and find some lands. Missing one land drop is fine, but missing more now really becomes awkward. Wow. That fucks me up a lot. Can't even path to exile my own Snapcaster Mage here. <sighs> oh, deck. First you flood us out every game, and now you do me dirty in this kind of mirror match. Now let's hope he doesn't draw a Terminus here. Did not find a single fetch land to path to exile my own creature. But... Yep. Haha! <laughs> Hit the land drop after all. Let's see if he wants to activate this colonnade here. He doesn't. Alright, should turn back. Probably gonna path my own snap. That is incredible root of you. We have the Abrupt DK. We smell a second cryptic, but yeah, let's let's say this is okay. He has to deal with the Snapcaster Major still. Okay. Please path the other one. And drops a Jace too. Alright. That is awkward now. So I should have used the force as an hard cast. I was not thinking about that. Okay, 
Let's see, draw us into cryptic now again. Still seven cards in hand, so we are not dead yet. There he goes with this terminus nonsense. I can't fight about it. Yeah, this single to fairy turn kills me again. Ah, this is so annoying. No, he has a cryptic in hand. Don't have enough counter spells. I have to suck it up, giving him other brainstorm. <laughs> Yes, now he has a blocker. Yeah, this... <laughs> In this Teferi turn, I misplayed it. I should have just hardcasted the Force. If he counters back, he can't drop the Jace. If the Teferi resolve, we then have the Abrupt DK and can go from there. And have still two Snapcaster Mages in play, so yeah, definitely misplayed that. It goes on me. Him attacking there also means that he probably has more stuff. It's the cryptic. Can also put the terminus back on top and just get us with an opt if he wants to. Still know that you have the cryptic. Yep. So, still cryptic in hand. Yeah, and then he draws with the cryptic into the forest and it's game over. Yeah, so I made this one mistake and the whole game goes sideways, unfortunately. 
<sighs> Damn it. Play better, dude. Come on, what are you thinking about? I know you have the cryptic, you just counter draw. If I have something, you are still ahead because I tap out. Cycles into the force, sure. Yep. Uh, I don't have the white mana for the damn hero. For a single white. Yet another mistake. Okay, okay, I take it. I just played horribly. Three fetch lands, I failed to fetch out a second white source. Okay, take the losses there. Um, path to exile definitely out. Whale of Summer in. Um, Mystical Dispute in. What else do we want here? Could be that they are playing um, and treat the angels, so I guess I want at least one Supreme Verdict. We need one path to exile, maybe against a mentor or something, where we can cut one Uro. So go with this. Still have DK and Trophy to deal with creatures. So maybe bought out all the path to exiles, really. Ashiok, rather than Kaios Guile. <coughs> Getting rid of the graveyard can be good value. They also have Logic Knot, so exiling has still some value. Just have to play better. Hoping that Well of Summer is stronger in the mirror. Yeah. Get an awkward hand. Trying to find the terminus already, or what? Can float the mana and cryptic bounce the land here if they want to. Still need more blue mana. Did not float there. Let's drop an astrolabe. Gives us more options mana wise. Do we have a snap? 
Alright, shoot the turn back. Well, he had a snap after all, didn't want to trade there. And we are still leading the damage race, so eventually he has to. I know I could have used Kaya's Guile there, but I don't have a force in hand right now and don't want him to drop a time revel on us. So well, do you have a land drop here? Yep, you do. Okay. Just playing lands and shipping in for some damage here. <laughs> don't know what is what that is doing right now. So now we have a window to drop the Teferi with Dovin's Veto back up. Still attack the Ashiok here. Unless he has two forces, of course, but then he is out of cards. So. Oh, wait, to tap differently. Give me the white here, give me the blue there, E2 here. Drop the Teferi. Attack the Ashiok here. Astrolabe. Oh, my force up. Okay. Can stop a chase here or something. Oh, and he has a terminus. <sighs> Speaking about annoying. Did not use it though. Okay, interesting. Why? Sure. Hold over an Uro. Is it a fairy of his own to bounce back the snap, maybe? They're not gonna play into that right now. <clears throat> I still have Yorion if we want more cards. Counterbalance, sure. Let's see if he has a three drop on top. Uh, one drop. No, oh, it's a Jace. All right. Uh, I don't.
don't actually want him to draw Jace, but I also want to resolve Assassin's Trophy here. Now that you have a Jace on top. I also need three mana, so okay, you have the Jace. So we know two of his hand cards. Six mana. Well, only one unknown. We still have Yorion. Good thing we have DK effects against counterbalance. Okay, he does nothing. Down to eight. Yes. Let's force a shuffle here. All right. Nice fang and force up. Two unknowns. Did not want to give him the force. Maybe he has Jace into O stone or something. Terminus for everything. I think I'm fine with that. That resolves. That's not what this game is about. Drop Ice Fang. Draw a card. And I'll leak. Still okay. Let's keep the Sanctuary in hand for later. Okay, still a good target to Field of Ruin here. So, Jace to Unknowns. Guess I should have used the turn for Yorion, maybe. Let's get rid of that. Creating more green mana here. Okay, okay. Okay, can stop counterbalance at least. Two, three. I want to hold up mana leak and force, so I can't put Yorion into hand yet, I think. Because he probably goes all in in one turn. Let's keep this in deck so we can cycle it, maybe. Well of summer, right? Can't counter anything anyway, so it leads at uh yeah. Let's at least reset to fairy and draw a few. Up Whale of Summer. 
can use opt now, but so be it. We find force here exactly, but can't force right now. Well, let's see what he finds. Could still have a terminus or something. Did not draw a blue spell, but now we have lethal anyways. And mystical dispute, alright. Oh. Probably shouldn't waste more time here. Don't have to show him abrupt decay. Okay, so... Did not see mentor or anything. Don't know if we want fatal push for that reason. So we know that he brings in Ashiox. I can maybe use Soul Guide Lantern instead. Sure, it can kill a Colonnade. But is that really that important with four Field of Ruins in the deck? I don't think so. So, yeah. Let's hope that he doesn't drop Mentor, but he kept Terminus in his deck, so I don't think he runs Mentor. Well, let's see. So what's important is to have either Abrupt Decay or uh, Mystical Dispute against early counterbalances. And of course, dropping three mana to Fairy. If, it, if I would not have wasted the first game, this would have been already over. Well... At least we have the upper hand in forcing through a Teferi because we have Whale of Summer. This is so effective. There is no good answer in blue to trade here one for one unless he plays this spell or Fluster Storm, I guess. Maybe the Terminus version isn't actually that bad in the meta, because with Terminus you have better play against green-red, I think. Hmm. have a Force. And two cycles into more land drops. Not the greatest hand, but also not the worst. Can just hope that he doesn't have turn two counterbalance or that we find the DK for it. Spell Pierce. Sanctuary. Again drawn. With only two in the deck. Don't draw them all the time, man. Charm, okay. Really don't want to put it on there because of Field of Ruins. Maybe they don't play it, I don't know. Sure. Find some Ice Fangs for that later, hopefully. And we are drawing a lot of counters now, but I need land drops first. Right, five cards in hand. Thing, just an attack for two. Right. So have Uros to offset the damage a little bit. Still, I need more mana now. Like, I have not drawn any other lands here. There's also a click now. Okay. It's back at seven, I guess. No land drops means we have to tap out here. Counter bounce me.
Yes, you do. <sighs> you have to love it. You see those first matches always drawing land after land after land, and in the control mirror where you really want the land drops, you don't draw them. Annoying, annoying, annoying. Yeah. Now I have to go into a counter war with force here. He can have everything he wants. Mystical disputes, mana leaks, everything will answer me here. But in the end, I made the mistake in the first match, so. Let's get another cryptic. Yes. I have another force. Man, could have also just let it resolve and decay it. So, yet another mistake. What am I thinking here? Probably not at all. <sighs> Talking about how good DK is against counterbalance and don't use it at all. Giving him the cryptic back in hand. <laughs> now I die against the stupid snapcaster beats. <sighs> and throw this match away even worse. God what damn. Well, seems like he isn't doing anything either, so not that yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do we think he has a mana leak or something? Probably yes. I think if he would have an uh, Jace or anything, he would have dropped it already. But if he has a mana leak, he can drop the Jace anyways all the time. If he had a Teferi, he could have dropped it all the time. So, yeah, screw it. Let's go for Nuro. Probably get it countered or something, but... He has only land drops or something in hand. Okay, now we get at least the land drops. The cryptic or something. Major charm, okay.
Yep. Okay, draw the forest. We know that he has an Archmage Charm in hand. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Can't do everything in one turn. But I don't want to put Yorion into my hand right now and tap low. And just hold this in hand for now. Still needs more to punch through. And if we play, play, uh, draw, go, we can maybe undraw our forces. Stupid fairy. I just don't draw any ice things here. Is now. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh. Please don't have mystical dispute. Okay. And not having Mystical there means I'm free to drop Yorion now. Two, three, four, five, three mana up. Okay, at least we have a lot of cryptics to bounce whatever he does. Another Jace. It's always the Jace. So maybe I just want an um whale of summer and I can go with double cryptic and whale. Just draw ice fang. Just tap the doom 
banner somewhere. <laughs> There's the wait of summer. Oh man, one turn too late. <sighs> Let me just place the Jace out again and brainstorms away. Then I can attack it to one and then we have to kill it somehow. Except whatever. Cryptic, yep. Yes, damn it. Jace of my own or something. Draw land though. So do we field of ruin to put the bad cards? If he has only good cards on top, it might be good, but he might also have bad cards, so goes. Can brainstorm again, go up to five cards. Probably all the counter spells in the world in the hand. Yes. Da -da 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 I want to kill it. This will be the fourth sanctuary. I want to kill it. To kill it. Please don't have a terminus on top. No terminus for you, please. Exactly enough for everything here. This will force a shuffle. Mm Alright, what happens? He did not float. Let's see if he finds a lucky terminus here. Please don't. Please don't and let me kill this Jace.
attack him, please. We don't have infinite time here. Please, the cryptic back on top. Yes. Drop the lantern. Exile one of the cryptics, I guess. Drop two of the cryptic. Trip the turn back. Let's see what the last cards in his hand are. Counterbalance. Yep. Can't prevent that. Decay is in the graveyard. More counterbalances. All right. The hero of Dominaria. All right. Well, let's hope that there is no two drop on top. Twice in a row. Island. Fetch. Fetch to the second trigger. Flooded strand next turn. Well, that is good for us. Draw cards. Yeah, put uh, DK back on top, draw into the DK, and yeah, go from there or something, whatever. Okay, played horribly in the last match, definitely. Um, lost against the league leader with green red. With green red uh, mid range, where we flooded out in the deciding match, though. So it was very close, all in all, even though he had a lot of Bloodbraid Elves and all this stuff. Um, won the revenge match green against green red, though, where we should not have won. So that kind of equaled out in the end and won undeservingly. A kind of mirror match where I should have just decayed the damn counterbalance instead of pitching two force of negation. So made that nearly a loss. Don't do that. Play better. Um, but just for showing Yorion, well, it was good in the last match. That's for sure. Drawing three cards there was definitely a good way to get back into the game after I made these misplays. And it was all in all okay against Lurus and the green red mid range deck if you can get to this phase. It bought a lot of turns, I think three to four turns, and draw two cards. So that was a lot of value, but yeah, did not draw anything relevant there, only lands. Maybe did a misplay there after all. But hey, another 4 1, I take it. And well, Sure, there are ways to improve this, probably. I would also try a red splash to going back for bold. But I felt like DK is a little bit better right now against all the Ren and Sixes running around again. It can also maybe kill a Utopia Sprawl or something. Or, yeah, it just helps against uh, not only Counterbalance, but also Hardened Scales a little bit more. Can also cleanly answer Liliana of the Whale or a Teferi Time Reveler, so it has some value. Sometimes you just want to DK a Dryad maybe against Titan, where a Path to Exile is more awkward, I guess. But yeah, maybe 20. Oh, this is. Oh yeah, the rest of the lands are here, but. Well, with 24 lands in 60 card decks, I am at 40% to draw a land. And this is the same for 32 lands. And yeah, I did not flood out as hard in my band snow version, so I felt like okay, this ratio should be fine too. 
And to be fair, we had some issues with the land drops in the last match, so maybe it was just an outlier that I flooded out so hard against red green and shouldn't be neglected. Mm, the rest is the same. With more spot removal, we don't need the supreme verdict always. They might also not be necessary. Sometimes they are good against green red, for example, but if they have pyromancers, they will make some tokens after after the fact, so it's not an instant win. It's good against Death Shadow and Eldrazi, and sometimes humans, but that's about it. Um, not sure about the Kaya Skyle. Could be in 4th Uro. It's just a BJ reason I didn't bought the 4th Uro, and here uh, yeah, Kaya Skyle sometimes also makes life against, for example, Burn, but can attack a graveyard at least. That's why I also opted for another Kaya Skyle over timely reinforcements in the sideboard, instantly hitting the Burn match up, but we still squeezed it out again, maybe lucky in the end, but still. But yeah, that is for that is it for now. So all in all, trying to emulate the Ben's no control deck. Trying to go over the top in the mirror-like matches with the Orion, which went successful this time, and trying to not lose in the matchups that are good previously, but it seems like that is fine. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, have a great day, and till next time, bye bye.